this ultrasound study of uh, Paris female showing us dilation of uh, all the calluses, so, uh, all the uh, ventricles, I am sorry. We are studying the obstructive scan. This is an obstructive study. And here you see this is the cortical mantle, this is the skull bone, and uh, this is the dilated uh, ventricle, the ventricle that measures 14.4 uh, from this uh, anteriorly and 18.2 uh, from this uh, posterior side. So, the, uh, and the cortical mantle measures approximately 17 millimeter by 21.8 millimeter. So all the ventricles are dilated. The uh, Another area to show you is that the cisterna magna is dilated as well. This is the this is this fluid filled area is cisterna magna. These are the lateral ventricles. And uh, moreover to uh, show you that it is a 28 week gestation with uh, the weight of the fetus being 1.45 kilogram kg. So I have seen rest of the uh, ultrasound has been confirmed by me and there is no other, there is one more finding of interest in this case. Fetus is alive, active, alive. Okay, I am just going through relatively early uh, so as to get the uh, area of uh, interest and area of uh, deformity or uh, anomaly. Now this is the nose of the fetus, these are the nails, these are nails, one, two, and we do not see any cleft palate or any pathology relating to the face of the fetus. So this is the umbilical cord now, this area. As I come down, the, it's a breech presentation. This is the head, and now see, this is the kidney. This is the kidney. Okay, and this kidney measures approximately. Five point five into two point five centimeter, almost an adult size kidney. So, uh, and to note there are multiple tiny cystic areas within it, and uh, the echogenicity of the parenchyma is highly raised because of this kidney being polycystic. And if it is polycystic, then the other kidney should also be involved. Now let's see what's the status of the second kidney. Here you see. Uh, just a minute. Now, here comes the second one. Both kidneys are polycystic. And large, echogenic with cystic areas within this kidney. Now this kidney measures a longitudinal section 7.5 by 3.3 uh, centimeter. Again an adult size kidney it's uh, by measurement. Uh, however, if you see that there are multiple internal cystic areas within and uh, the echogenesis, why the kidneys are so echogenic is because of uh, multiple minute 
pin head size will also be present and they give uh, the kidney uh, ecogenic appearance. So both kidneys, number one, see, they are enlarged, they are ecogenic, highly ecogenic, studied with multiple variable size pin head to, I mean this is the largest one, pin head to almost 6 mm uh, cysts. And uh, this is the another one. So this is a case of one bilateral polycystic kidneys alive with both ventricles dilated. All the ventricles rather I will say are dilated. I don't remember if I showed you. You see these are the uh, lateral ventricles. These are the lateral ventricles. And uh, eye, lens, mouth. So the ventricle margali with bilateral uh, polycystic kidney. Now the, in, this, this kidney is of recessive type always, not dominant. Dominant is seen in adults. This is the uh, four chamber view of the heart. This one. Here you are seeing the four chamber view of the heart. So no pathology relating to the heart. This is the liver. And uh, this is the diaphragm, this area. The lung, this is the lung tissue. This is the femur. This is femur. Femur. And uh, uh, it is a male fetus anyway. So this is our case of the day rest. Everything is uh, unremarkable. This is the placenta. Placenta is uh, fundal. And uh, I'm like the cordis, two arteries, one vein. Uh, here comes the kidneys again. And uh, there is no other pathology. There are two pathologies. Now the supine part, if you would like, uh, would like to ask me, is uh, does not show any uh, pathology and uh, no anomaly is seen relating to the vertebral column. Uh, so to cut short, to show you once again, here is a. Uh, this is the head of the fetus, showing you dilation of the lateral ventricle, and here you will see dilation of the, uh, rather all the ventricles, including the cisterna magma. And this is our case of the day. Thank you very much.